Caulfield. I'm 18 years old. Years ago, my family moved away and I left behind my childhood. After five years, I'm back in my hometown, Arcadia Bay, Oregon. Now I'm studying photography at Blackwell Academy, my new home. In the end, it's still high school, which kind of sucks. Then there's Chloe. Home shit home. Let's dance! Or take my picture with your new camera. Come on, rock out, girl! Then something happened. Something that changed my life forever. Oh, no! I discovered I could reverse time. So that was the end of uh, episode 2 and we managed to save Kate but she is in the hospital now and that is good but Max seems to be suspended from school uh, and uh, the it was an eclipse of the sun that that seemed to cover most of the sun at the end there uh, so the, it, it it was a lot going on uh, at the at the end of the episode so i really hope that that everything turns out uh, for the better in in the next episode uh, let's take a look on the stats here uh, you told Kate to go to the police 33% uh, uh, including me did so you told Kate to wait for more proof 67% did so uh, I did tell her to wait for more proof uh, at first but uh, the result from that wasn't as as I expected it to be so therefore I rewind time and changed my mind and told her to go to the police instead uh, you answered Kate's call 80% did so and only 20% didn't as I I didn't see any other uh, a any reason to not answer her call uh, since we didn't know what what she what she wanted by calling us and uh, in retrospect uh, that was really the right thing to do um, so yeah uh, I guess that the 20% who didn't answer her call uh, didn't answer it uh, in order to see how uh, uh, what would happen if, if you didn't answer it um, you tried to shoot Frank 54% did so uh, you didn't try to shoot Frank uh, which I didn't try 46% uh, uh, didn't try to shoot Frank uh, and I I think that um, a, a teenage girl that quite recently turned 18 uh, wouldn't try to shoot another human being. Uh, sure, we were threatened by him and he did have a knife. But I think that it was... Well, we did lose the gun and so now Frank have that gun so it might backfire later on um, but I hope that Frank doesn't use that gun uh, uh, 
Well, we just have to wait and see what happens. Uh, you couldn't save Kate. 36% uh, couldn't save Kate. Uh, but 64% saved Kate's life. And fortunately, I am one of those 64% that managed to save her life. Um, I feel really sorry for Kate. So I am glad that we managed to save her life. Uh, because it would it would it would really break my heart to to see her commit suicide like that so i am i am really thankful that we managed to save her life uh, now she's in a in a hospital bed uh, as i said before so yeah we just have to have to see what happens next um, you blamed David, 13% did so, you blamed Nathan, which I did, 75% uh, blamed Nathan, uh, and only 12% blamed Mr. Jefferson. I think that by blaming Mr. Jefferson, we might have had uh, a better chance at uh re redeeming max but it would have been wrong towards mr jefferson so i think that blaming nathan was the right thing to do because he is actually the only one that you truly can blame uh for kate's suicide attempt uh so yeah, I I hope we we did the right choice by blaming Nathan. It might backfire a whole lot though, since um, we took blame for Chloe's drugs, um, and we didn't tell the principal uh, that Nate uh, that Nathan had a gun uh, and he uh, he was threatening Chloe in the girls room uh, or in the girls bathroom uh, so we just have to wait and see uh, what will happen uh, with with that choice uh, let's move forward here and take a look on the uh, stats here you watered your plant 72 percent did so uh, but we didn't water the plant uh, and it is only 28 percent that didn't water uh, the plant uh, and i didn't see any reason to do so since we watered it yesterday and a plant that gets too much water uh, will probably die from from uh, uh, from overwatering. So I might war if I get the chance. I might water the plant in the next episode. Uh, you helped Alyssa. Sixty-four percent did so. You didn't help Alyssa. Thirty-six percent did so. I'm not sure what that is about but apparently i didn't help elisa okay uh, you erased the link to kate's video 95 percent did so uh, and only five percent left the link to kate's video that was on the mirror uh, it was victoria who wrote uh, the link to to kate's video on on the mirror in the girls bathroom uh, you were friendly with taylor or you weren't friendly with taylor uh it, it was uh 50 percent on each there you weren't friendly with taylor um i'm not sure what that is about either 
but apparently I weren't friendly with her. Uh, you accepted Warren's invitation, 78% did so and only 22% didn't uh, accept his invitation. Uh, I think that's the invitation to the uh, Planet of the Apes marathon that um, that I guess we are going to see perhaps in the next episode or if we went there um, perhaps before we sat at the football field watching the eclipse or maybe it was supposed or we were supposed to go after I'm not sure uh, but yeah I didn't see uh, see any reason to not go with him because he even though he is uh, doofy and and uh, seems like uh, well it, sometimes he he doesn't say the right things uh, but he seems like a really nice guy so so there wasn't any reason to why we should uh, reject him uh, you wrote a message yeah uh, that's inside uh, that secret hideout that um, uh, Rachel and Chloe had uh, at the um, at the um, uh, garbage dump there uh, you wrote a message 57% did so and 43% didn't write a message. Uh, I don't think that will have a huge uh, impact on the overall story. Uh, I'm not sure though that it was the right thing to do to write a message uh, under, uh, under uh, their messages uh, since we aren't friends with uh, Rachel we have only heard about her but we have never met her um, but as Chloe said uh, I was uh, not Chloe as Max said I was here too um, so yeah that's why I wrote uh, Max was here on the wall uh, you tampered with the rail racks uh, rail tracks 32% you didn't tamper with the rail tracks 68% didn't um, yeah I guess we didn't tamper with it um, you gained entry to the vortex club party 52% did so uh, you didn't gain entry to the vortex club party which was my case 48% uh, didn't I since since uh, since we know what happened at the last Vortex Club party, I don't want to be at one of those parties. It might have been good to to see what what goes on at those parties, but but I, I just don't think that that we want to take part uh, at at uh, one of those club parties. Um, you helped Warren. Forty six percent did so, and fifty four percent didn't help Warren. Uh, it was kind of like uh, like an accident that we helped him. Uh, because uh, not an accident but uh, I, I I just realized that we didn't help him by telling him to put in a lot of uh, whatever that chemical was that made the whole thing explode um, but we put in chlorine instead, I think. 
So yeah, we helped him. Uh, you told on David to Mr. Jefferson. Mm, you told on David to Mr. Jefferson. 80% did so. Uh, okay, what exactly did we tell on him? Mm, was it that he he confronted Kate? I think that's it. Uh, you didn't tell on David or Mr. Jefferson. Only 20% didn't uh, do so. Okay, so that that's the end of the stats um, okay so this uh, was the uh, first episode here uh, okay uh, yes yeah, so uh, that was the end of the second episode so I am really looking forward uh, seeing what will happen in in the uh, third episode I do have a bit of homework that I should do though so the question is uh, should I do the homework uh, or should I continue playing this game uh, yeah I'm not sure yet uh, I will have to think about that for a while um, yeah, but anyways, um, thank you so much for watching this, uh, this episode, uh, and I am really looking forward to find out what will happen in the next episode. Uh, so I guess I will see you in episode 3. Uh, until then, thank you so much for watching. And have a good one, <laughs> or something like that. I suck at finishing these uh, these episodes, at wrapping up. Uh, but yeah, anyway, uh, goodbye.